Hey, what's up everybody? It's that time again. We're hitting the water. We're gonna go see if we can catch us some some warm-up fish before we head out to uh, OHIV. Um, pretty much everything is everything is set up. Everything's ready for the big trip. We've changed the tires, we've got the new charger, we've done most of the packing, we've done most of the grocery shopping, we've done a lot of food prep. You'll see all that coming up, but I wanted to get a, a warm up before uh, before I went out there and started fishing because I won't be able to fish until next Sunday at, at OHIV, so, which isn't bad. That's not terrible. It's not a terrible thing to, to say. Um, but I was on the fence. Um, I saw some. I saw a podcast that said that the fish were looking pretty ill down at OHIV from a pro that has been out fishing in that area. And uh, so I started looking at maybe going to to Lake Fork. And then after a lot of thought and and a question from a guide that I know on Lake Fork. He said I should probably head to OHIV if I was actually looking for a fish over 13 pounds, which that's the goal. Like, sure, I want to have fun, but we want to catch us a, a, a megalodon, a, a monster, a, a big old Gina, as our boy would say. Anyway, uh, the next time we'll see you, we'll be out on the water.
Woohoo! Dude, they are crushing this thing. You think he wanted that? <laughs> you think he wanted that thing? I'm gonna go with... He wanted that thing. This is not good. He got it down in his gills. Let's see if we can... Some nice wood under there. Oh, <laughs> Did you guys see that? I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a little, a little something came up and was chasing. Alright, this one seems to be sitting a little bit deeper water, so we're going to get a deeper diving crankbait here, hit him with the jig. Yeah, I've got the old Garmin in perspective mode, and I've been able to see movement around the trees and then seeing these guys in uh, shallow water. I've been able to get them when I see them. So if I see them moving around, make a couple of casts to them, and it seems to be pretty deadly. Pretty deadly. if we can get in there with the structure jig and get these guys. Whew. I'm at the opening of Matawan here. Looks like either tournaments coming in or just everybody getting done for the day. It is almost dinner time. But excellent warm up before Ivy. You know I'm not catching the the size of fish we'll be targeting out there but definitely good warm up get the skills going again it's 
4 o'clock. It's probably time. But you know me, always one more cast. I guess that's most most people that like to fish though. I've only caught one on the jig, but it was a pretty awesome bite. I don't know about you guys, but setting a hook on a on a jig is Pretty fun. slow that's when you know you're doing a good job with keeping contact with the bottom you beat the beat the paint right off of the, of your jig there Dude, they are wrecking this thing. Uh, maybe a, a buck? A little pre-spawner maybe? Uh, maybe. He's not peeing though. But man, they are... They are relating to this wood. Hey, what's up everybody got off got off the water uh, got home a little later than I wanted to because the bite was so good I didn't record everything but I got enough to make a pretty good video so um, the biggest thing for today was uh, get out and and warm up before OH Ivy not exactly the same fishing that we're gonna do out there but I wanted to know what the water was gonna be like also when when I get back because I'll I'll start fishing again 
Um, so what I found was the water, uh, as soon as I launched the boat, was about 52, 54 degrees. And then as I moved around, I found some spots where it was 52. I found some spots where it was uh, 57, 58 even. And then it warmed up to the to 59 towards the end of the day. So, and as soon as the tide started to fall, the fish turned on and they wanted to munch. And uh, the number one thing that they were, they were munching on was a crankbait. But the, the other thing was this little bitty structure jig. I believe, I believe it's a, uh, I think it's a Strike King. I could be wrong. But it looks like a crawdad. Uh, if, you, if you don't know it, there are crawdads on the Potomac. Um, how do I know? I've caught a bunch of fish that spit up crawdads in my in my live well all the time so and then the the other bait that was really good was um striking again i don't remember the exact name but it's just a small small profile uh crank bait the sucker got down to maybe four to five foot and if if you if you look at this thing i mean it got absolutely just hammered hopefully you can see all the teeth marks in there but uh, awesome awesome day um, really excited so I feel I feel warmed up and ready to go and uh, ready ready to get out to OH Ivy and fish the road trip is gonna be fun uh, I have a friend that's retiring from the Marine Corps I get to see him retire uh, Friday Friday afternoon, and then from there we're gonna we're gonna shoot to Texas. So, um, on another on another uh, note, I did become a partner with uh, Kissler Rods. Um, I've been looking for somebody to partner up with. Uh, so it's the first of of. More sponsorship, maybe we'll we'll see. But why why did I choose uh, Kissler Rods? Well, veteran owned. He's a Texan, and and they're made in, in Texas. So, um, yeah. So, uh, what I got though was I got a the the Kissler seven six. Um, and why did I get this? You say? Well, I needed something to throw. A giant swim bait on uh, so I'm gonna be using this dude this is the the six cents hangover pretty awesome pretty awesome bait it's a line through so the hook hook actually goes through through the bait very excited about this actually threw this around today and had some followers I was surprised um, but it helped me identify what were bass and what weren't. And then the, uh, the rod was awesome. And I actually paired it with a, a Kistler, um, sp spinning rod. It's not a Kistler spinning rod. <laughs> it's a, a bait castler. Uh, I got the, the, the six to six to something because I kind of want to slow down. If I'm cranking normal, it's it's just enough where the hangover doesn't swim like it's hungover. It actually swims just right. But uh, so far, so good. This thing, when you throw when you throw it, uh, when you reel it, all of it, it just feels it just feels right. It's it's amazing. I can't wait to crush one on this. So we, we will see. But, uh, enough of that. Um, stay tuned. Well, we're going to have the travel blog come up, and you'll see us traveling essentially from Virginia to North Carolina and then onward. And then we should hit a couple of Buckies. You know, I'm from Texas. I love Buckies. Diesel's good, they have death at the pumps. 
the brisket's amazing. The breakfasts are good. The coffee is always warm. It's always clean. Uh, there's no shenanigans there. So, yeah. Look forward to it. Next time we see you, we'll, we'll be on the road. Until next time.